welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a sweets charcuterie board. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my go-to homemade molasses cookie recipe. It is absolutely our favorite when it comes to the holiday season to enjoy. So I will share that with you guys, as well as some simple ideas of things you can pick up at your local grocery store and assemble for a really cute moment on your sweet charcuterie board. Perfect for a family movie night. That's exactly why I'm filming this on Friday. So that way we can enjoy it through the weekend. We're having a full blown Christmas movie weekend. So we wanna be able to enjoy all these little sweet treats and things. And so I hope you enjoy. And without wasting any time, let's get into the molasses cookie recipe. So here's my recipe card for our homemade molasses cookie recipes. Be sure to pause the video and take a screenshot. I will also have it down in the description for you if that is easier to reference in the future. So we're going to start off by sifting all of our dry ingredients together. The sifting is the vital part of the step to ensure that the texture of your cookies comes out nice and smooth. So now you can see this is beautifully sifted so you won't have any grainy texture in your cookies. So now we're going to bring out our KitchenAid and add the melted butter, both of our sugars, an egg, and the molasses. So this is what it looks like once you've add all your sugar and molasses. Now we are going to add in our flour and then put it in the freezer. In my personal preference when I'm adding my flour, I like to do a little at a time and let it fully incorporate. I've just noticed that it brings a smoother texture to my cookies. So once you are done making your molasses cookie batter, you're going to put it in your freezer for 20 minutes if you plan on baking it right away. If you want to make the batter a day early, that is perfectly fine. Just leave it in your fridge overnight. Don't put it in the freezer or it's just really difficult to work with and will quite literally hurt your hands, speaking from experience. So, <laughs> wine is in the freezer for about 20 minutes and while we are waiting on that, we're going to bake some of these classic nostalgic Pillsbury cookies and have a little fun spin on it. So, I will get these in the oven while the molasses is cooling off and see you when we're back to that. Okay, so once your batter is all cooled, you're gonna grab it from the freezer, grab a bowl with some sugar in it, and you're going to grab your batter, roll it up in a ball, Roll it around in the sugar and then put it on your baking tray, just like that. Oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell these. They smell so delicious. And when you bake them, you just want them to barely be starting to turn a little darker on the edges so they're still nice and chewy in the middle. Alrighty, so getting started on the sweets charcuterie board, we are going to be doing a chocolate donut reindeer on skewers. So you're gonna need some chocolate donuts, M&Ms, pretzels, and some longer skewers. And you're just going to take your donuts, pushing them onto the skewer. Then you'll take a couple of your pretzels and break them in half and then push them into the top so they make the antlers for the reindeer. And then take some icing to put on the red nose because this is Rudolph. And lastly, I had some of the leftover eyeballs from my Halloween mummies, so we're gonna add those. I mean, can you even handle how cute these turned out? Now we're gonna do one really similar doing snowmen. Now for the snowmen, we're gonna do very similar with some powdered mini donuts, some mini chocolate chips, and some Rolos. Okay, so for the snowman, we are going to follow the same process as the reindeer, putting three donuts on the skewer, but to top it off, we are going to add that Rolo to be his hat. 
Next, we're gonna add some icing and add our orange nose and then take a couple of the mini chocolate chips for eyes and buttons. Look how cute he turned out. So now we'll make a few more. Okay, so for our next one, we can't have pure sugar everywhere. So we're gonna get some strawberries, green grapes, and bananas and some mini marshmallows. And then I got these last year from Hobby Lobby, but they also have them in like a snowflake pattern. And we're going to do this little like gnome moment. And so you'll grab one of your skewers, put your marshmallow on first, <laughs> grab your strawberry, then your banana, and lastly, the grape. Okay, so now our Pillsbury cookies are all done. Everyone loves to enjoy them like this, myself included, so I'm leaving some of them plain, but we're going to take some frosting I just took store-bought and whipped it in my KitchenAid because it's just lighter. And then we have some peppermint crunch and some sprinkles. The peppermint crunch that I have, the pieces are really big. So I actually took some in a bag and just whacked it with my rolling pin. So they're smaller, but we are going to put some frosting on, sandwich the cookie and roll it in sprinkles. I just wanted to say a quick thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. I just so appreciate all your support and wonderful comments on all my videos. I love hearing all the feedback and just all the inspiration that you guys can get from it. It really brings so much joy to my life and it just, it means a lot that you spend the time with me here. So I just wanted to say thank you and that I appreciate you so much and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. So now we've got down everything that we've done except for the molasses. So we're gonna add the molasses and fill in the blanks with some other stuff. I also picked up some of these peppermint cookie stirrers from Target, as well as some chocolate dip pretzel rods. Then I also grabbed some of these cookies from Target. We've actually already done some damage on the box. They're so cute. So there's snowflakes, stockings, gingerbread men, and trees. And then there's some snowflake marshmallows. Target has so many amazing sweet treats. I got most of my stuff from there. World Market, Walmart are also great resources. Obviously, if you have a local bakery by you, that would be optimal, but I just love how this all is coming together and everything looks delicious. You guys, look at how absolutely adorable this all turned out. Like, what kid or adult, let's be honest, wouldn't love to just throw down on this? I can't. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. I hope that you guys got lots of different ideas for some yummy treats for your family and friends for this holiday season. My next video is going to be my Christmas home tour, or an updated version of it because some spaces are redecorated and some I just added little things here or there. So I'm gonna do one last Christmas home tour and then we're getting into after Christmas clearance shopping. Hopefully there's still some good things left out there, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed today. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite was, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.